Hello guys, uh, for today's video, I'm going to rationalize uh, math test questions and yeah, that's it. And without further ado, let's start. Okay, so number one, uh, how many multiples of 8 are there between 30 and 90? So ano yung, when I say multiples, these are numbers, uh, multiples of 8. When I, said, when I say multiples, these are numbers uh, which uh, 8 can divide from uh, between 30 and uh, to 90. So we have here 32 and next one we have 40, 48 and then 56, 64, 72, 80 and 88. Okay, so how many of them? So we have 8. Okay, so there are 8. There are 8 numbers between 30 and 90 which are multiples of uh, 8. Okay, so there I go. Next one. Next one we have here. If x plus y is equal to 17, then x plus y squared is equal to what? Okay, so this one, x plus y is equal to 17. So what is x plus y squared? Since this one, as you can see, it was, uh, it is just squared here. So that means we'll just have to have uh, 17 squared also. Now, 17 squared, this is equal to x plus y squared. That is uh, 189. Okay, so there you go. The answer is one. Ah, uh, no, sorry, sorry. It's two hundred eighty-nine. I'm sorry. There you go. Next one. Uh, we have number three. If x minus y squared is equal to forty-nine, what is x squared minus two xy plus y squared? Okay. So as you can see here, it says there that x minus y squared is equal to forty-nine. And what is x squared minus 2xy plus y squared? Okay, so this is equal to how much? As you can see here, if you are going to expand this one using the, uh, what's this? The special products, okay? So this one expand is expanded into this. So that means, since this one are just equal, these two are just equal, so that means this is also 49, okay? So let's see, let's expand this one if it's really equal to this, okay? So x minus y. Uh, squared, this is equal to x minus y times x minus y, okay? So there we go. We can have a FOIL method, okay? FOIL method, we have x times x, we have x squared. x times negative y minus xy. And then negative y times x, we have minus xy also. Negative y times negative y, that is y squared, okay? So this one are similar terms and they're all negative. So we say there are two of them. So x squared minus 2xy plus y squared, which is equal to this one, right? So that means if this one is expanded, it's equal to this. So that means if this one is equal to that, 49, that means this is also equal to 49, okay? There you go. Next one. Next. Number four, we say... Number four, how many multiples of seven are there between first and last two digit numbers? Okay, first and last two digit numbers. First and last two digit numbers. Okay, first two digit number is uh, 10 and then last two digit number is 99, right? So between 10 and 99, how many multiples of seven are there? Okay, so we have, uh, we have to count, so we have 14. Next one is 21, 28. 35, uh, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70, okay, so, and then 77, and then we have 84, and 91, and 98, so how many of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay, there are 13 of them, okay, there you go, next one, uh, if x minus 2y is equal to 14, then x squared is equal to how much? Okay, there we go. This one we have here, if x minus 2y is equal to 14, then x squared is equal to how much? Okay, so x minus 2y is equal to 14, and then x squared is equal to how much? Okay, there we go. Next, uh, since uh, there is no, uh, there is only one equation here, we have to uh, solve for x in terms of y. So transposing this one, so we have there x is equal to uh, 14 plus 2y squared, okay? Uh, 2y, I'm sorry, 2y. Then it co since this one, the question is x squared, we'll just have to square this one, and we also have to square, square this one. We, we have to square bo both sides. So we have here x squared, which is this one, is equal to 14 
plus 2y, uh, okay, times 14 plus 2y. Now, if we are going to use FOIL method, it will really take time for us to do this, okay? And it really, uh, really, really takes time. Now, what you can do is, pag ganito siya, squared siya, squared of binomial, mayroon tayong uh, special product dyan na, uh, it will just allow you to spend a little bit or like just a short period of time for you to solve this, okay? So, try to see this. We have the here, x squared, of course. You square the first, that is 196, and then plus 2, copy nyo lang yung sign, La lagay nyo yung 2, and then multiply, lagay nyo si 2y, multiply ng 2y at saka 14, okay? First and the second uh, terms, okay? 2y and 14, and then 2. Always, and dito siya si 2, and then square the last one. So, we have 2y squared, okay? So, this one, x squared is equal to 196 plus 4 times 14, that is uh, 56y, okay? Plus 4 y squared. This one is the answer here, okay? x squared is equal to 196 plus 56 plus 4 y squared, which is uh, letter A. Okay, there you go. Next one. If 3x minus 18y is equal to negative 21, then x minus 6y is equal to how much? Okay. So this one, usually, there is what you call like reduction. You must be careful with this, okay? So, it says that 3x minus 18y is equal to negative 21, okay? So, there you go. Now, uh, and what is x minus 6y is equal to how much, okay? So, there you go. Now, as you can see here, uh, there is common. There is common divisor on, on both sides. We have here common. 3, 18, and 21 can be divided by 3, okay? So, let's just divide it into 3, into 3, into 3, okay? So, 3 divided by 3, that's 1. And then, and negative 18 divided by 3, that's negative 6y. And then, negative 21 divided by negative 3, that's negative 7. So, that means the answer is here. Because uh, 3x minus 18y is equal to negative 21 is reducible to, or can be reduced into x minus 6y. And this one is equal to 7. And the question is, what is x minus y? Which is equal to negative 7. Okay, there you go. Next one, number 7. Okay. Number 7, it says, what is the sum of the biggest negative integer and the smallest positive integer? Okay, there you go. What is the biggest negative integer? As you can see here, like shall we say, this is the uh, number line. This is 1, this is 2. And this is negative 1, negative 2. Okay, negative numbers, the smallest one is the biggest. Okay, so as you can see here. Where we can say that negative 1 is bigger than negative 2. Remember that. As you can, uh, as you go left or far left, the number becomes smaller. Okay, the value becomes smaller. Here, from 0 up, as you go far right, the number or the value becomes bigger. Okay? So there you go. It says here that what is the sum of the biggest negative integer? The biggest negative integer is negative 1. Okay? Negative 2 is smaller than negative 1. Anyway, negative 1 is the biggest. Uh, negative integer and the smallest positive integer. The smallest positive integer is 1, okay? 0 is neither positive nor negative, okay? Remember that. Because count uh, integers are made up of numbers or negative numbers, 0 and positive numbers, okay? So there you go. The biggest smaller, uh, the biggest negative integer which is negative 1 and then the smallest positive integer which is 1, okay? And then let's get further sum. Negative 1 plus 1, that is equal to 0. So there you go. The answer there is letter A, okay? There you go. Next one, number 8. Number 8. Number 8. If 3x plus 2y is equal to 4, then 4y squared is equal to how much? This is just the same as the other question earlier. So we have 3x plus 2y is equal to 4. What is? What is 4y squared? Okay, 4y squared is equal to how much? Okay, there you go. We'll just have to, to solve this one in terms of x. Okay, so we have 2y is equal to 4. And then transpose this. This is positive. It becomes uh, negative. Okay? So there you go. It's 3x. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, it says here that 4y squared. So we'll just have to square this one to square both sides. So squaring it, 2 squared is equal to 4. And then y squared is y squared. Okay? So this is now in the question. So that means we'll just have to expand this one. Now, remember earlier, I gave you uh, the, 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 the easiest way for you to solve this one. Okay? Uh, square of binomial. Okay, anong sabi ko is square the first, which is 16, okay? 
4 squared, and then copy the sign. You put 2, and then multiply all. 3x and then 4. Okay? 3x and then uh, times 4. Okay? And then square the last. So that is plus 3x squared. Okay? So 3x and then you square that. Okay? So there we go. We have 16. Uh, they get negative 2 times 3 times 4. That is negative 24x. Okay? 24x and then plus 3 squared is 9 and then x squared. Okay? There we go. 4y squared is equal to 16 minus 24x plus 9x squared. Okay? There we go. Next one. Number 9. We have here the sum of the first 3 of the 10 consecutive integers is 63. Find the sum of the last 3 integers. Okay? There we go. Um, this one is an example. It's, it's one, one type of algebraic word problems. Okay, this is a number problem, and then this is how you're going to do this one. Okay, so remember, actually I have a video, video about uh, consecutive integers, consecutive positive integers, or consecutive odd integers, and stuff, and so on like that. Okay, so there you go. So when I say 1, 2, 3, 4, this is consecutive integers. Okay, consecutive integers. Let x be the first integer. So the next integer would be x plus 1, right? If x is uh, here, 1. And then, if this is our first number, so when, when it's, it becomes 2, we just added 1 here. So that's why we have x plus 1, okay? If our x is 1, okay? We always let the first integer as x, okay? So there one x plus 1. This one is x plus 2 because x plus 2 is equal to 3, which is 1, right? So this is how you represent, uh, and then this one is x plus 3. This is how you represent the consecutive, consecutive integers, okay? Consecutive integers. This one, x, x plus 1, x plus 2. How about consecutive, consecutive odd integers? Okay. Odd integers, let's see odd, that's 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Okay, so there it goes. So it's 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. Okay, so let x be the first integer. Anong, in, um, how much did we add, or I mean, how much do we add to make it 3? So we just added 2, so that means this one is x plus 2. Here, how much we added to make it 5? So we have x plus 4, okay? And then here, how much we added to make it 7? So we have x plus, uh, x plus 6, right? Okay, this is how you're going to represent consecutive odd integers. x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6, okay? How about consecutive? There are three cases, actually. Consecutive even integers, okay? Integers, even integers. Let's say even 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, okay? And so on. So we have here, shall we say 2, and then we have 4, 6, 8, okay? So let x be the first integer. How much do we add uh, in 2 to make it 4? So we just added 2 here. So that means it's x plus 2. How much do we add from here to make it 6? So we have 4, so x plus 4, okay? And then how much do we add here to make it 8? So we have x plus 6, okay? Consecutive odd integers and consecutive even integers are just represented by this x, x plus 2, x plus 4, x plus 6, okay? If it's like consecutive ev uh, consecutive integers only, we say x, x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3, okay? So the question is, the sum of the first three of the ten consecutive integers, okay? It's just say here consecutive integers, okay? So we say x, x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 4, then x plus 5, x plus 6, x plus 7, x plus 8, x plus 9. This is the first 10 integers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because it says, it only says, the, the problem says uh, consecutive integers. Okay? So and it says here, the sum of the first 3 of the 10 consecutive integers. The sum of the first 3. So ito yung first 3 natin. So we say x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2. Ito yung sum na first 3, okay? Uh, the sum of the first 3 of the 10 consecutive integers is 63, okay? There you go. Next one, we just add him, add this. We say x plus x plus x, we have 3x, and then plus 1 plus 2, that is 3, is equal to 63, okay? There you go. And then 3x, transpose this 3 on the other side, we say that 63 minus 3, it becomes minus, and then 3x is equal to uh, 60. Divided by 3, since we are solving for x, divided by 3, so our answer is 60 divided by 3, x is equal to 20, okay? There you go. Now, our first integer is 20. It says here in the question, find the sum of the last three integers, okay? So if this is 20, this is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 
And it says here we have to get the sum of the last three, okay? So there you go. If we are going to get the sum of this one, we have 84, okay? 27 plus 28 plus 29, that is 84, okay? There you go. Next one, number 10, we say, um, number 10. I hope you, you, you get it. There you go. Next number 10, if x minus y squared is equal to 64, then x is how much? Okay. It says here, if x minus y squared is equal to 64, x is how much? Okay. x is equal to how much? Okay. There you go. Now, since this one is just squared and this one is a perfect square, we'll just have to take the square root and then take the square root of this plus minus. Okay. There you go. Always plus minus. Because we have two square roots of, I uh, know, if we're going to square numbers, we have the negative and the positive numbers. Yung square niya naging positive perfect square. Okay? There you go. So that's why we have here uh, x minus y is equal to positive negative 8. Okay? So, and it says here how much is x. Then we'll just have to solve this one. The x in terms of y, we have x is equal to positive, I uh, know, y. My, this this negative y becomes positive, so that's our positive here, plus minus 8. So x, there are two values of x, y plus 8, and then x, the other x would be, this is 1 and 2, y minus 8, okay? There you go. And in the choices, we only have y plus 8, so the answer is letter D, okay? So I hope this one helps you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, tick the bell for uh, notification of my future videos. And... Uh, don't forget to share this video. Bye-bye. Uh,